Hello Colors and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting developing stories. We start with Dani Alves, who according to latest report, you know, will extend his contract with FC Barcelona for another year. Barca have been impressed with his display so far and they want to extend the veterans um, contract for another year. I think that would be a good move. We are going to be discussing much on that as we progress then secondly we are going to be talking about this report from fabrizio romano claiming that bonus liga wonder kid florian words who plays for Bayer leverkusen is on barcelona and real madrid rather we are going to be discussing much on that as well so guys as we get right into it please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end as reported by Marca, Barcelona has set to extend the contract of veteran defender Dani Alves by another year. The 38-year-old Brazilian signed for Barca on a free transfer in November last year after his contract with Sao Paulo run out. Why he arrived days after the appointment of Xavi Hernandez as manager, the right-back was unable to make his second debut for the club until January. After his registration was successful during the winter transfer window, Dani Alves has made an immediate impact, already notching up a goal and two assists from just three La Liga appearances, while he has also created several goal-scoring opportunities, 13 of them. Despite his advancing years, Alves has shown that he is still in very good shape physically and can compete at this level for, you know, for a little while longer. Add to it, the Brazilian international also brings a lot of value with his experience and know-how why his positive attitude and outlook also rubs off on the squad. Dani Alves had signed a contract with Barca, which you know would expire at the end of the ongoing campaign. The deal has a provision that would allow the club to extend his stay by another year, and the season campaigner, you know, has seemingly shown enough to convince the hierarchy to trigger that option. Another reason for Barcelona and Xavi deciding to keep Alves around for longer is that. He has shown a great capability to play as an inverted fullback, dropping into midfield alongside Sergio Busquets to provide defensive cover and support. Alves too is keen on continuing at Barcelona as he wishes to keep playing at the highest level in order to stay in the best shape possible for the upcoming FIFA World Cup later this year. So it would seem that you know a short term extension would stand to benefit all parties and looks the most logical step from both the club and the player's viewpoint. I think this is a great decision by FC Barcelona to extend Dani Alves' contract. We have seen what Alves is still doing, you know, up to now, still playing in good shape despite his age. Of course, the attitude he brings to the team, the leadership he brings to that dressing room, I think it's outstanding. Alves have been so professional the way he does his thing, the way he plays, of course, he still plays as though he's in his 20s and of course I think Barca, you know, deciding to extend that contract for one more season, it's a very reasonable thing to do because I still see Alves, one of the key players to the team, you know, from what he brings, you know, the experience, that's just the highest thing for me, the experience that Dani Alves has, you can see that, you know, you can nurture these kids to understand what it means to play for Barcelona and of course we can't also underestimate his his attitude his attitude is quite remarkable very down to earth and he plays with love for the club he plays with a lot of love for the club and I think it's very logical Barcelona extended deal you know to another season also talking about the immediate impact of course two assists one goal you know alongside the other new signings we have been seeing the impact that these guys have brought to the team, Obama Young, who is currently in contention for Player of the Month Award for February. You know, talking about Adama Traore as well, who have been doing exceptionally well since arriving from Wolverhampton Wanderers. So all of them, in one way or the other, have really contributed to the good form that Barca currently have. The results are coming our way lately, and we hope that we are consistent with these results. Then on to the next story of discussion, Florian Wirtz has taken the Bundesliga by storm over the last two seasons, 
coming up as one of the most talented young midfielders on the continent. Playing as an attacking midfielder for Bayer Leverkusen, the German has scored 7 goals and assisted 10 times in 22 appearances already this season. Unsurprisingly, the big guns have taken notice of this. According to Fabrizio Romano, Barcelona, Real Madrid and Bayern Munich are scouting him closely even though they are not planning to make a move for him anytime soon. Wetz's contract runs till June 2026 with no release clause. He is considered untouchable by the German giants. In the past, however, he has spoken about his dream to play for Barcelona, he said. I always want to be the best. As a kid, I dreamt of playing for Barcelona. That has not changed, but it can wait, he said. With the likes of Gavi, Nico, Pedri and Frankie de Jong within their ranks, Barcelona will likely not make any move for the German wonder kid, at least until their midfield calls for it. At this very point in time, midfielders are not a necessity for FC Barcelona. I think the midfield department is well stocked. Of course, a lot of talent there were Pedri, Nico, Gavi, Frankie de Jong. You know, it's really, really good to have such talented midfield. So, looking at any links with any central midfielder, whatever, attacking midfielder, is of no use at this point in time. Nobasa have other areas that they can strengthen. We've been talking a lot about the defense, which is the most prioritized area right now that Barca are looking to strengthen in the summer. The center back positions, you know, the right back and also the left back position that Barca needs to prioritize. But talking about midfield at this point in time, definitely don't think Barca, you know, should even go for any new midfielder because, because there is depth already in that area for Barcelona. I think the only midfielder that you know, Barca could likely bring is AC Milan midfielder Frank Kessier. Of course, he plays the DM role. You know, a lot have been spoken about him lately and it's very possible that he comes to FC Barcelona because he will be a free agent. He will not extend his contract with AC Milan and he plays a DM role. And of course, which means that, you know, you'll be playing the Busquets role. Of course, maybe Busquets will not have that same prominence like he does this season. And if Frank Casey comes, you bring something different to that DM role for FC Barcelona. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to subscribe so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona. Yeah, on Viva Barca. Until next time. Bye-bye.